gentle indeed. Ooh, I know it looks warm, it's not. Now it really is quite a thing to produce a soft top. It changes the whole structure of the car and essentially you could lose the essence of the car. But Mercedes-Benz decided to give it a whirl in its C-Class and this is what I'm sitting in. Ooh, it makes you wanna so with the top up, it looks very much like the C-Class Coupe and it almost has identical dimensions. This soft top you can put down and up within 20 seconds if you're driving like 50 k's an hour. Should I show ya? Ooh, it makes you wanna die. Ooh, don't you wanna take her? I know I should do the whole review with the roof app. I know it looks sunny, but it's not, it's cold. Plus, I don't think the sound is very good for that. Check it out! 20 seconds, baby. Boom, that's all you need. Don't you wanna take a home? Maria, you gotta see home. You have three petrol engines to choose from. I'm in the only diesel, which is the C220D with its 2.1 litre turbo diesel. You get 125 kilowatts of power and 400 newton meters of torque. However, I feel like the sun is right in your lens. Maybe not. If it's performance that you're after, and with this car's sort of sporty looks, you're expecting that, it is not the most thrilling of drives, I have to say. If it's leisurely, sort of coastal drives you like to do, or hit the open road on the weekend, then this is the sort of car that you would really enjoy. Nobody needs to know where we're off to. We're invisible alive. It sends power to the rear wheels via a nine-speed automatic transmission. Like I mentioned, not the most thrilling drive. It takes 8.2 seconds to get to 100 kilometers per hour, which isn't exactly dynamic, if you will. From the galaxy of blue To a universe we choose It doesn't have the most comfortable ride, I have to say. Um, it's fine if you're cruising, if you go over small sort of bumps and stuff, the, you like um, This has got optional 19 inch alloys on it. I think if you have the 17 inch rims, you might find it to be a bit better. But sure, it can really just kick you out in the gut there. Okay, fuel consumption is claimed at 4.9 liters per 100 k's. I'm sitting on almost seven. But whoever reaches the claimed consumption. Space for me is always an issue with cabriolets. We're going away this weekend and I'm not quite sure where to put everything. You do have a 360 litre boot back there, but as you can see, it's not a big open boot. It's got a, a drop through fly, so you sort of have to go in and under. So long things should be fine. With the seat, I mean with the, with the top down, you only get 285 liters. So, it's little. I'm going to do a big shop now. I don't know where I'm gonna put all my booze. I mean, my groceries. My groceries. Here's the very little dude. See, this is loads. You can put stuff underneath. That's my handbag. <laughs> tricky, tricky. I realized this was for another manufacturer's advert, but I know that this has been also left on it, so you know what? People need to share. No more and just baby. Somebody to hold. Oh, easy as pie, that is. Oh, it's sunny there for a second. Oh, that's fine for me. This poor guy here has no space. I'm gonna attempt that, I can't get in there. But that person's got very long legs. That's the only reason. Um, I don't know how it 
feel about this with the top up? Let's see. Okay. Oh. Okay, I'm quite short. Oh, but if you're even a little bit taller than me, you're gonna... You might struggle. I'd be fine, maybe a little claustrophobic, but only that's because I don't like being in the back of a car. But it is a four-seater. Can't dispute that now, can you? Oh, you know, I hate me an auto stop start here. And if you guys might have noticed, I was pressing in the Volvo video, the auto handbrake to turn it off and not realizing why it wasn't being switched off. You have to switch it off on the screen, apparently, in that Volvo. Anyway, we have our blonde moments, all of us. Even me, if you can believe it. As standard, the C220D Cabriolet costs you close to 785,000 Rand. But if you add options like the AMG performance pack or you get this air scarf heated neck level sort of system that when the top's down, puts like lovely heat on your neck. Uh, a rear view camera or a 360 degree camera, all of that costs extra and you push the million Rand mark. So tick those boxes carefully. But do you know what? Cabriolets are a very niche market and like the MD of Mercedes-Benz South Africa said to me once, you know, if you buy a Cabriolet, you buy with your heart and then your head follows later. <laughs> but I would hope that when you're spending money like this, that your head kicks in a little bit quicker than your heart. Time and just make 